Oh, hello everybody. Well, today, uh, if you all see the video and you don't see the pictures I was posting, I've walked this bridge. This is, that's New Jersey side. That's the Hudson River going down to where I walked the other day, which is, that's Manhattan in the back. It's kind of cloudy. That's New York City over there. So you're looking uh, in the Hudson River. It's going up the Hudson the other way. But I thought, um, today's still Christmas Day. Look, the signs, those who see this video in the future, I walk this bridge a lot when I'm up here. It's nice, and today's Christmas, so you gotta look. But this, I mean, they, I'm sure they're good signs. They're suicide signs. I've never seen them before. And uh, just kind of, here's one here. It struck me as funny. Not funny, I don't want to make light of it, but there was never a, a night of... I mean, I, yeah, they're nice, but you got actual word suicide on every sign. And I don't know, just kind of hit me strange. So, I'm, I mean, I don't want to make fun of it. I'm just saying I, it's kind of obsessed me taking the pictures of the sun. Um, I'm going into the city, into New York. And this is a free walk. When I was coming up from over, it's Fort Lee is the Jersey side, and then you get off at... I used to think it was Harlem. I remember something like the Bronx or Harlem, but I, I tried to Google it earlier and it might say Washington Heights or something, but either way, I'm heading into New York City from here. This video uh, probably won't upload until tomorrow for those who are watching it on Christmas Day, uh, 2015. <laughs> I always think of the scripture I always think of the verse, it's a nice view, um, from Isaiah. Here's another one. Uh, you could call repairers of the breach restores stores of pets to dwell in. Isaiah, actually, Christmas Day, Isaiah has the most prophecies about Christ, about the Messiah. The famous ones uh, that most of us are familiar with. <laughs> a sign will be given, a virgin will conceive. Many of them are in Isaiah. Repairers of the breach, almost like restorers of paths, and that's why I think of that first one on the bridge. Some of the videos today were, <coughs> you saw me interacting with some of my friends, and some I didn't even realize were Jewish, and I've known them for a while. And I always talk openly uh, when I quote verses and all. And they've never been offended, none of, none of the, my Jewish friends, or even my atheist friend, Danny. So, because it's almost like uh, you're just friends with people, and then you're telling them, you know, I'm, I do ministry, they know that by now. So that was interesting. Uh, it's when you're, when you're up here, especially on the weekend, the bikes go fast, it's kind of dangerous. It's a nice view there. It's overcast, or you'd see it pretty today. Uh, one of my friends on Facebook wanted to know if I'd get a picture of maybe the <coughs> Freedom Tower. <coughs> the tower they built in uh, where the World Trade Towers were. <coughs> That's further that way. This walk, you wouldn't have been able to get that from. But the other day, when I walked uh, Manhattan, you would have got that. That would have been easy. So this is just a nice walk, and uh, I wanted everybody to be able to see, you know, it's easy to do. A lot of people have lived up here. It probably takes, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes to walk from Jersey to New York City. Now you got to find a parking spot, and when I came up, I mean, there was no, the street I came up, different ones when you're heading this way, and I just remembered, I said, no, I think i got to turn right here. And I did, they should have had a sign, you know, you're going to bridge. And then I went down the street and there was like a double lane where I guess a lot of people want to come to the bridge, to the walking pathway, which is below. And you're not supposed to turn left there, but I did because I realized, oh, this is the spot. I, so I parked and there's metered parking. I put about four hours in or five hours, but... It's up to nine hours, so I guess a lot of people do that. It's pretty coming in here. Very 
beautiful. I always, if I took the video from the front of the phone, that mode is like high definition. So I learned that if you do the high definition, you don't have a choice on that front of the phone. It's either high definition, or if you do low quality, it's real low. It's less than the, the camera facing me. So I learned that. And if you do high quality, those take a very long time to upload. And on this trip, it's been difficult to upload. So I, I, I learned that. But I'm not going to do that. So here you're coming in. That's a nice big span you see there. And let's see north, that's in Manhattan side use. It's pretty. It's a, now it's a tall bridge. You can see. See how high up you are from there. I hope I don't accidentally shut this off. I've done that before. But this would just be, you know, for those of you that have never seen it, hopefully you get a nice little view. And uh, today's a full day. It's still kind of early. Did you see the whole, we got those little pathways. Now some of them, when I get, all, I don't know if I'll have it on that long into the city. I don't know, maybe I'll keep it on as I walk into New York. But some of the path sidewalks are very, 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 very uh, narrow. And bicyclists, you know, you got to be careful because they will run you over. I learned that already a few years ago. Sometimes they'll whistle. They'll whistle, I guess. They're all learning that. If the sun was out, you'd have a beautiful view there. Manhattan, right over there. Manhattan, of course, is most people associate, you have the five boroughs in New York, but when people talk about New York City, that's what they're talking about is Manhattan. And that's where all the Empire State Building and all the pictures I took the other day, that's where they're at. People down there picnicking, now there's a railroad right there. I would like, I'm it's, sure it's not a you know, for people to ride. But that would be nice. As kids, right on the other side of the bridge where I just walked, if you look down that way further, that's my little hometown where we grew up. And as kids, we used to ride our dirt bikes in spots where there were tracks. And, and a few of us would walk through a train tunnel that's in the middle of the cemetery where you saw me post the grave site of my sister Laura, but right there you could walk through a train tunnel and it would take you out right on this side of the Hudson River on the New Jersey side. And then there were always railroad tracks and old piers and we'd crab and fish off of those and that was like a spot. It reminds me a little of that. All of that is now developed. You know, condominiums and so every inch of that kind of old area that was nice for us as kids is all gone and it's all developed I was going to do something I didn't pass a park that I remember last time uh, dedicated to uh, Robert Moses if I remember correctly talking somewhat about Moses today on some of the videos it's funny because I watched a documentary on New York City a few years ago and, you know, liberal and conservative, and sometimes I try to be even-handed, but sometimes when I hear some of the, you know, views. So Robert Moses was a developer. He had a lot of power. Had a lot of power in the beginning of the Port Authority, which runs the bridge. It's the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. And as I, I looked at the whole history of that a few years ago, how that happened. And, but the man, Robert Moses, was responsible for all of the uh, highway system and all of the building of the infrastructure for roads. And he had a certain vision, and there was a famous mayor, a well-popular mayor, Mayor LaGuardia. And at that time, 
they became almost like they butted heads and LaGuardia, who's very popular, had to put the squeeze on Robert Moses because the Port Authority brought in a lot of money, but it wasn't, you didn't have to go through all of the procedures uh, with that money that was coming in at that time. And he, he would be allowed to kind of just build all these, all the highway systems to New York City as it was developing. So it was something that probably needed to be done to have the bridges and all. But he got criticism because there were a lot of old neighborhoods at the time that they just demolished. Just saying, you know, and we have that law today, which I actually don't agree with that law. Oh, I keep forgetting it, the name of it, but, um, oh, but it means basically if you own a private property, a house, whatever, and if the state or government needs it for a bridge or road, uh, they're going to just take it. They're going to tear it down. And that's what, and so Robert Moses got criticism later on. So I was listening to one of those documentaries, and there was a very liberal guy on and kind of had wild hair. And I forgot what his specialty was in. But they began blaming Robert Moses for the traffic. So as I listened to it, they said, Robert Moses, he wanted to build these bridges, well, because there was a lot of traffic and people couldn't get around. So the bridges and the, and the highway system and all these roads you see, he said, we need them or else the city will not be able to grow properly. And you, But they blamed him. And, and when I listened to the, that was a liberal argument, but they said, sure enough, he said, Robert Moses they're talking about, he said if we build a bridge, it will help with the traffic. And then the liberal commentator said, but sure enough, each bridge he built, so many years later, they were filled with traffic. Therefore, Robert Moses is responsible for all the traffic. If I have to explain that to you, why that's a silly argument, then I will not be able to convince you. <laughs> so that, I remember that, you know. That's, I see Harlem, that's what I remembered walking a few years ago. It says Harlem. It got a little cool as soon as I got off, as soon as I got off, uh, away from the Hudson River. Got a little cooler. I hope you like the view. This is this is a beautiful view. I don't want to drop my phone and that'll be it. It's an easy walk to do. I enjoy it. This is one of the really beautiful attractions. That there's there's no charge to walk. It, uh, there's a charge to drive over the bridge or to drive through the Lincoln Tunnel. You can't walk through the Lincoln Tunnel. But this is open, and so, I mean, if I if I lived back in this area of the country, this would be regular for me. You know, this is... Now, one year I walked, if I left early, I walked from 91st Street all the way up to the bridge. I think it was about four miles. Walked over the bridge, and I would have made it all the way to uh, Times Square, but I left late that day, and I stopped. I walked through Harlem. Not realizing it was falling, but it didn't make a difference. This, it was fine. But I asked a black cop on the corner. He said, "You know how many streets until I hit 42nd Street?" And I mean, it wasn't. Yeah, you know, it might have been. I don't know, 40 more blocks. But when he looked at me, he was kind of heavy set, black cop. He said, "Oh, you got to catch this bus." I said, "No, no, I'm walking." And he kind of like, "You can't walk that." And I told him, I said, I just walked from North Bergen, which he, I'm sure he knew where it was. So, but I did catch a bus that day, because I was running late. This is the, see those bikes go right past you? I didn't even know. When I first started walking the bridge, you know, I'll do the pictures and I'm not really paying attention. And I realized, man, they almost hit you. And they'll do the whistle, they'll kind of say so. So that's it, it's a quick walk. I only went about, I can go a little bit longer. I usually do 30 minutes on the videos. So Isaiah would be a repairs of the breach, restores of paths to dwell in. You know, there's prophecies about the ancient paths. Don't remove the landmarks that your father has, 
has set down. In the, in the Old Testament, when the people of God, the children of Israel, whenever they had significant moments, they'd have stones that represented things. Few stories. When they crossed into the Promised Land, if I'm remembering right in the middle of the Jordan, they would place stones. But there are certain times and those were memorial stones, things that would remind them. So now you're going to see from New York City, let me see how we're looking, from New York City over into New Jersey. Okay, pretty. So those stones were reminders. And the, the verse that says, don't remove the stones that your forefathers have set down. I feel sometimes, you see me teach a lot, I went to St. Patrick's Cathedral two days ago. And I'm very aware, you know, all my Protestant friends, I'm very aware of, you, if you watch my videos for a while or read my writings, I'm very strong on justification by faith and the historic doctrines of Protestantism. But over time, I also understood uh, grace. God was very gracious to many of the saints, even the Catholic ones who had tremendous uh, giftings. Danny, my atheist friend, so I'm in the city now. And I believe it's Harlem, but it's rocks would be to the left. So Danny mentioned something about the mystics. That'd be pretty to go that way. I've never done that before. But this is the city. Danny mentioned something about the mystics the other day. My atheist friend. And I took, but he was talking uh, not from a Christian view. And I said, Danny, I said, the church had a heritage. The Catholic church had a heritage of mystics, but not in the bad way. Oh, look at all these candles. But I said, these were... Ma Madame Guillaume and uh, I think Teresa of Avila, different ones, and they had this experience with God. This mystical experience with God. To them, it wasn't just doctrine, it wasn't just teaching. It was, I guess a, I could walk that way, but it was an experience with God. That That's what mattered to them. And I shared with Danny, I said, it's not just, you know, what we know, it's not just doctrine and intellect, but it's having an experience with God. And so sometimes, uh, you know, we're looking for things in life, we're looking for experience in life. And sometimes people find it. I almost have a three years sober, which would be a January 3rd, and maybe... I'll do my meeting here where I don't do the meetings, but it's almost the tradition I like to get that, uh, the three year, whatever they give the coin. <laughs> but I don't know, a few people have asked me, are you going to be here? Danny uh, gave me some beautiful, I didn't ask for them, there's some beautiful artwork that an 86 year old man that is d does by hand. I mean, just, he, he hasn't had training, but Danny used to teach art teach artists how to paint and he said he was so Danny bought those paintings and I'm, he was going to sell them you know he off, he gave them both to me he gave me a gift for my wife for my mother and he said I got this for you he wants to give things to me and Danny has got this history like of being cheap but and I told him he said you can put them in your car right now I said you know I really want them I said, but I don't feel like I'm supposed to put him in the car right now. And if I left before I saw Danny, that'd be it. I'd say, oh, well, then you should have done it. I, I didn't feel like I was supposed to do it. So I walked down this street. Still works. I didn't do a lot of videos. Of, I was hoping maybe I'd walk down to that section by the train, but that's fine. You get to see the nice walk into New York City. And that's kind of what I wanted y'all to see. And uh, this is really not considered the spot where most of the tourists go to and all. But it's nice. And it's, today, it's a beautiful day. I've walked all the way through these streets in the past. 
And I know Harlem is right around here, because I did walk through Harlem one year. So, you could see, when you saw me in Mexico, Laredo, it was just not really, I think a lot of times we have fears. A lot of people are afraid of a lot of things. But when I was in Laredo, I still had that little accordion I bought from that old Mexican man on the street. I was kidding with the people over there. In Laredo, people got that big fear, especially because of the politics, how they're killing and shoot. Like, yes, they kill and shoot everywhere. And I kidded with the ladies. And I told the old man that I bought that accordion from, which I played in the morning when I'm in Texas. And I pray. There's a verse uh, that I always quote when I'm now associated with it. Great and marvelous are thy works, O God Almighty, just and true are your ways, thou King of Saints. And one day I was in Hobby Lobby in Corpus Christi, not too long before I left, and they had one of them, the same one. So I played it, and as soon as I played it, that verse is now permanently implanted in my head. It's associated with it. I won't do the whole walk like I did last time. But it sure is pretty. I hope you enjoyed this little trip that we did. And you saw how, you know, there was no plan. I told Gary's girlfriend, Marie, I said, she knew the song Head East. I guess that's the name of the song. So now I was just in coming back from church in Texas and heard the song and said, I'm going. And it's all right. It doesn't mean there's, there's a lot of people live their whole lives and never leave the state that they're in. There's a lot of people that live their whole lives. You're looking at it from New York City back to the New Jersey side. Some people have never done this little walk. Some of my friends I went to school with live in North Bergen, right there. Yeah, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. I'm just saying, there are things that we don't really appreciate. And I didn't want to make fun of the suicide signs. It was kind of surprising to me. Those, I'll tell you, those, that rail on the bridge, I mean, it's so low, you can almost fall over if you... It's, I'm sure that not that many people jump, you know, but there's a history of things like that. Seeing that I'm standing in New York, that's my hometown over there where I grew up, right there. See, how dangerous it is. You never know you're going to run into a bicycle. They come flying through. I want to take the jacket off. I put it on because it was a little cool at one point. I don't know, maybe we'll walk back. I don't do the bridge that much. So this can go a little longer. I could light a cigarette. I'm actually, today's Friday, Christmas. I'm scrounging money in my car. I mean, I want to make sure, I, I think I got about $100 balance. And I don't get paid till you know, it's five more days or so, and I'm, I just don't want to keep spending. I know the cigarette thing is expensive, but you got a free tour. On I was thinking, I was thinking that I might, it's too hot to wear, that I might, he's going slow because he's going up there. I was thinking that I might put the old nasy bag that I got in the trunk, like an old uh, backpack, and write a cardboard sign, like do the Richard Gear thing, pretending I'm, you know, homeless. I would probably keep the money if I got it, but I'm too impatient to sit. You know?
I wouldn't be able to sit down for more than 10 minutes thinking, you know, doing that experiment. This is what I can do. So that's it, very quick. I don't know, maybe we'll walk back. I'm not sure when I'll leave. And when Marie, Gary's girlfriend, she's sweet, and she asked me that, I said, you know, the same thing I tell all my friends in Texas. I said, you know, I don't know. I said, I don't know. And I think it's good to not know. I think it's good. I've only been, I've basically, I, I haven't gone to my house, just where my mom lives, where I normally stay. But I just went the first day, just for a few minutes, and used the restroom. And I wanted to, because even if you live in a car, I mean, if you have, if you had a house all day, and you're just sleeping in a car, that's not really identifying. But identifying is finding spots where you can go during the day, parking at different parking spaces, not staying too long, shaving in one bathroom at Dunkin' Donuts, but not in the other or changing in the other one. Being aware of which bathrooms have a lock where you can go in and actually change without. So all of those things I've never kind of thought about before. So that was a good experience to experience that. And of course Christmas Day, you say, John, but you must have had a terrible Christmas because you were by yourself except for you ran into Gary. No, I... I won't have a chance, that's why after I did it a couple of days I thought, I'll never really have a chance to do it like this. And I always said, oh, I'd like to try and do it that way. And parking up here, it's not easy. You can't, in Corpus Christi, I have homeless friends that live in their vehicles for years. Uh, vans or cars, and they've done it for years. I, I, I know them. Friends of mine used to visit them in the vans. And all. But you, there's a lot of spots there where you could park, where people could camp out. <laughs> you don't have that here. <laughs> this video's worth letting you see a little bit. Those those suicide signs just struck me funny. I mean, not, I don't want to make fun of it. I'm just saying, I've not seen them before. Look how low these, look. I'm telling you, if you were leaning over too much, you'd fall off. Oh, my cigarette went out, which means we'll probably end it. Even though I'd like for you to see the walk back. Nice to see that. I'm sure I got a lighter. I've got many lighters. I put them in all different pockets. So I guess you're in my jet. Oh, come on, you're gonna be kidding me. I'm getting mad. I took four pockets, it's in the last one. I got that free. But a pack of cigarettes. And the lady said, aren't you going to take the free lighter? I said, of course, I didn't know it was free. Cigarettes are expensive for you. <laughs> I don't need you all preaching at me. You wouldn't be in so much financial stress if you weren't smoking. If you guys keep preaching that, I'm mean, no more videos. That's it, we're done. I mean, coming on these trips. Would have been nice if the weather was a little nicer. If I get a chance, I'll try and get Nick to play uh, to play on the guitar. That would be nice. Nick's talented. 
I saw just about everybody. Uh, I did see Nick. You did. He saw me in Burger King yesterday. We talked through. I did tell him. I said I want to get you on the plane, Nick. He might. So the foundation stones that you're not supposed to move. I mean, if you have a heritage, and Christianity also has a heritage, as time goes on, and we view, well, our ancient forefathers, the different fathers of the faith, the different church fathers, <coughs> yes, they made mistakes. But so, there were reasons why some things were done. And some were not done out of an intent. I talked about the bishops on some of the videos of the cathedral churches. Some appealed to the bishops early on, some of the early writings. I think Irenaeus, but Clement maybe. These are early letters, writings from the church fathers that never made it into the scripture, but I read these. You can read them, they're still around. One went to the Corinthian church and said, you know, obey the bishop, obey the leader. But why were they, why were they beginning to develop what's referred to in church history as apostolic succession? Which means, during the Reformation, the Catholic church said, our bishops and priests all have come down right from Peter. Now, I don't believe they all came from Peter, but why were they doing that? Why did the bishops, the idea of the singular bishop, monarchical bishop, why did it come down like that? Because they were kind of, it was a reaction, maybe to protect the early Christians from the spread of Gnosticism, which I spoke on. The Gnostics appeal to the to their gnosis, the Greek word for knowledge, gnosis. They appeal to a special knowledge. They said we have this, almost like we have this revelation knowledge, but they were not teaching Christianity. They denied that it's an offshoot of it, docetism, from doketo, the Greek word to seem or to appear, and they referred as docetist because they said Jesus just appeared to be physical. He, he appeared to have a human body, but he couldn't have had one. That's what they said. Today is Christmas, which we celebrate the human body of Christ. He was born from the Virgin. So the early uh, rise of the bishops, maybe it wasn't done correctly, but they were appealing to they were trying to say to those early churches, don't listen to all these other offshoot groups because some of our leaders did indeed know the early apostles, which was true. Various ones were directly associated with the early apostles and then they said, so these other groups, these Gnostics and Gnostics, they didn't have that same connection. So we know what the early apostles of Jesus were saying. And so that's how you have the development. And over time, and just from a historical view, just from the view of the Church of Rome having a church, a physical presence, since the time of Christ, that is the strongest argument that the Catholic apologists could make for their church being, quote, the true church. Now, I believe the true church is all of those who embrace Christ, be they Catholic, Baptist, Protestant, Assembly, or whatever. You, you know my view on that. But when, when you debate in the historical debates of, quote, which is a true church, some intelligent Catholic apologists, Scott Hahn and others, who I like, they make that appeal. And that's, that's a strong appeal. 
there's really no other church. Other groups try to say, our group, some Baptists, uh, I forget if they call them Riot or Baptists, or, uh, they try to say, historically, we are the one. If you just look from a historical view, I'm not saying all Christians in each century embraced fully the Roman Catholic Church, but just from a historical look at it, they have the strongest argument that the church and an outward presence in Rome has been there for 2,000 years. So, today's little teaching is, as we look at the stones, the rocks, the things, the teachings, or even some of the guidance or counsel that have come to us from that period of time. Let's not assume that they were all out at some Babylonian deception of Christianity. Let's not assume that. I'm trying to assume the best. And yes, I have disagreements like anybody else would have doctrine. But you assume the best. I'm going to light it again. Because it's 36 minutes. And who knows whether I'll ever, you know, you'll ever get a chance to see the I should keep the cigarettes. I should keep the cigarettes in the same pocket. But I don't have them. And I didn't. I didn't start the video. I mean, if I, I would have been over the bridge if I just started it when I started walking over. That's how quick the walk is. But you saw, I actually was coming off the bridge, walked to a couple of streets. It's only 37 minutes, and really I'm not that far. So I would have been back in the car by now. I usually collect one. I started doing this last year when I found nuts and bolts from the bridge. I usually try and collect one little keepsake that I bring back. Maybe that'll go. And I found a little bag. Found a little bag when I was walking the bridge. I'll show it to you again. In Texas, but I started putting little things I found from the bridge. <coughs> the church. Paul said, there's many members, but one body. And so maybe in a broader outlook we could see, I, I, I don't argue which church is the true church. There's books written, the true church are all those who know the Father through the Son. That's the true church. Everybody who knows the Father through the Son. Uh, the Apostle John in his letters his letters are not as strong as in the area of doctrinal, you know, declarations like Paul. They're simpler. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone that loves is born of God and knows God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Whosoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. Those, that by this we know the children of God and those that are not of God. Those that do what is right, they're of God. Those, if you see your brother that's in need, and you don't, and you shut up your vows of compassion and don't help him, how does it dwell of, the love of God dwell in you? If you say you love God whom you have not seen, but you do not love your brother whom you have seen, John. John was the young disciple, the beloved. And John got, he only wrote the three short letters of, and we have the Gospel of John, which is the same John, most historians believe, but they a the lot. But his three teaching letters are simple, full, second, and third John. It's about love about love, 
about knowing God. It's not, but there's doctrine in it, yes. And some of the stuff you heard me teach about on the Gnostics just now in this video, John hit, hit back on that. So he's got, we have an unction from the Holy One, John said, that no man needs to teach us. He wasn't saying there were not teachers in the church or prophets or evangelists, but he was saying God himself, by his spirit, teaches us. And he, and he, he wanted to ground them. John was older when he wrote it, but he was the young disciple. He was the young one that had more of that attachment, more of that seeing the eyes of Jesus, what he was doing, that he loved his man. And, and, and maybe because John was younger at the time, though he outlived them all, because church history tells us John was the only one that never was martyred. And there's a saying in the Gospel of John, right at the end of the Gospel, Peter was so concerned. What about John? What's going to happen with him? And Jesus says, if it's my will that he doesn't die until my coming, until my kingdom, my coming, we do a lot of that. He said, what is that to you, Peter? And then it says, what a way to end the gospel. It says, then that rumor started spreading that John would never die. And John wrote that gospel. He said, he corrected the record. Said he didn't say John wouldn't die. Just, so they ended the wonderful, beautiful gospel of John having to solve a discrepancy that started because of rumors. <laughs> and those who argue, preterism argues that the kingdom did come, the return of the Lord did happen. I, I don't take that view, but the preterists argue that. And that verse could be used. You took it literally in the sense by the time John died and most scholars say about AD 90 it's debated but you already had the destruction of the temple which preterists look at as a major event spoken about when Jesus said my coming he was talking about that in a sense they say so John lived to see some of the major fulfillments of the things Jesus said in a way that the others did not. They didn't get to see it. Whosoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. But he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. By this we know that we have the request that we made of him, because we keep his commandments when we do those things that are pleasing in his sight. But what are his commandments? Again, to love one another. To love one another. That's the great commandment. I quoted that with Gary and Maria earlier, and because she was quoting it. So I think it would be appropriate to walk back into New Jersey. This might be the longest video I ever made. You see the traffic? Threw some verses out. I started writing today's Christmas. I started writing a little on the journal. I learned that if I'm in the spots where I get Wi-Fi, I don't want to stay too long. They might think I'm homeless. But I could just do the uploading there, and then in the car, if I put the seat all the way back, I could write. Hope you can hear me. If not, you got to see everything. If you can't hear me when I when I post this video, I'll write in the notes. This was the most amazing intellectual discourse ever, and that you just didn't hear it. Some of my Texas friends, I've been telling them, I said, I never know when I'm going to leave. You know, I was cleaning out my bag in the car, getting, organizing 
you know, you organize what you can. A lot of my homeless friends have done that, that live in vehicles. And I found a cigar. And I thought, oh great. When you're low on funds, and you're looking at, I've smoked a few of the cigarette butts of my own. But then something like that is really interesting, you know. So I'm going to smoke that on the way when I get back into the car. The city will be lit up beautifully in a little while. I think I wrote a, I think it's kids, me and some of my friends, Billy and a few friends, not the Billy you know now. I think we rode our bikes over this bridge. If I remember right. I don't need the jacket now. It feels nice. I mean, for Christmas Day, this has got to be a record for how warm it is. But it's not hot. It's just, it's got to be in the 70s right now. Get to see a nice view. Yeah, I found those little suicide signs just interesting. I mean, never seen them before. I think there's 14 lanes in total. You have an upper and a lower level to the bridge. And I, at the upper has more lanes. And I believe it's, I believe it's four lanes each way. So the top you would have eight lanes. And then the bottom I think has two less, which would come to 14. Which would be three. I, can, I can't remember half the stuff and you guys want me to be doing multiplication. Oh, I see a little uh, boat coming down. I don't know if you can see it. Me and my dad. He had an old boat, a nice boat. It was called Midnight Blue. And my dad, like, he had a few boats when I was younger, small little thing. We'd go out crabbing. And I remember coming out with my dad in the hut. And I think it had a, a maybe a hundred horsepower motor, outboard motor. But once, I brought the motor, but we were out at night. And, you know, the motor went out. It couldn't have been real dangerous. But I remember my dad wanted me to start paddling, you know, with the oar. And I was, like, young. And I remember thinking, you know, this is my dad's life and my life depend on it. And I was out there, you know, doing all I could. I might have been 12 at the time. But he just wanted me to start paddling back. I forget, we might have started the boat, but <laughs> So you walk the bridge. Oh, that's something I would like. I don't know what it is. I got my one little bolt. I'll bring it back. We walk back to New Jersey. This is the famous bridge that Governor Christie shot. I know the true story about that. My friend, everybody might not be aware of it. Governor Christie's, some of his associates were mad that the mayor, I guess of Fort Lee, wasn't supporting him or something. So they said that's why the bridge was closed. I think I was here when I, but I heard it's because he went into the famous hot dog place here and wanted to get a lot and they said there was a limit on the Hiram's hot dogs. I'm not gonna, if you don't get the jokes, I'm not, like my friend Danny, if you don't get it, I'm not going to explain, I'm not going to say, didn't you get it? That's it. If they go past you, they go past you. You watch the videos down the road when you're older and you'll get them. I think it would do an hour on this. It'll be set a record. 
and that's the Jersey side. You know the movie? Oh, I didn't like the movie that much. Sylvester Stallone played like a cop in a corrupt town. But they filmed that movie here. I, I forget the name of the movie, but he was like kind of a goofy cop. You know, look, their movies, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, I believe they still live in the city right there. So, yeah, you've got a lot of movie sets out in this area. You see all the rock, New York City, the reason you could build it, all those skyscrapers, the way it developed is because of all the rock, all the bedrock. If you didn't have that much bedrock, you could not have a foundation. Here's the bike is coming through. You could not have a foundation of high uh, skyscrapers. So now this is the Palisades here, see? Now this is Jersey side, but look at how much rock, see? In this part of the country. That's all stone, bedrock. I'm still on. Look back. There's a lookout site up there that's beautiful. There's another suicide sign. It's nice. This is where me and my kids did the little ferry tour in July. Real cute. You know, got the ferry down a little further that way, but we were in the Hudson. Back in the days where I grew up, the only ways to really get over there was the George Washington Bridge, the Lincoln Tunnel, the Holland Tunnel. There are other bridges, but I mean this section where we grew up, you didn't have all those ferries. They, they all developed over time. I forget the name of them, but all types of companies. I figured maybe you'd like that. Maybe you'd like it. It doesn't cost anything to view our site. You get all the videos, all the stuff for free. So, I wouldn't mind one of my North Bourbon friends. I'm sure y'all have spotted me. I really... I realize people have spotted me that I don't know. They're, I mean, I don't recognize them. You saw a couple of video already. And then maybe, that's why when they meet me, I'm like trying to be nice. And then I say, oh, have you watched the videos? Oh yeah, we saw you in the car. And I'm like, oh, I hope so. Maybe some people are a little afraid to say so. But you know, I don't know you. And you know, I'm too proud to take like an off a hand out. But I don't recognize anybody. So just, if you know me and you follow the videos, and I would recognize you probably. Look at these guys going through. If you know me and follow the videos, just pretend you don't know me and say, oh, sir, it looks like you need some money. Can we give you five? And if I think I don't know you, I'll say, yes, I am homeless, and I'll get the blessing. Here's some of the stones. That's it. See the rock? Red rock? I mean, it's nice, huh? Back in Palisades. So we did almost an hour. I'll shut it because I want to smoke. That's it. I hope you like the little trip. Each day has to be full. And that's what we want. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you and give you peace. Same thing I do when I'm in my little prayer spot. God bless you all.